Most insane engineering marvels. Hey everyone, welcome back to Taltanic. I'm your host, Alexa. Humans are capable of some pretty amazing things, and today we're visiting them. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so that you never miss an upload. But before we get into it, let's play a game. Can anyone guess how many brothers and sisters I have? That answer, coming up later. Hoover Dam, Nevada, USA. The Hoover Dam is a great trip when visiting Las Vegas, as it will give you a little respite from the blinking lights of the Strip. The irony is that the Hoover Dam is the powerhouse for Vegas, quite literally, cascading down the 530 feet or 161 meter wall is 90,000 gallons of water, supercharging through a hydroelectric station, which powers three states with electricity. Hydroelectricity is an engineering feat that took some serious imagination from the initial inventor because water and electricity are not something you generally consider mixing. The Hoover Dam tours are well run and consistent throughout the year. Jump on one if you're ever in the area. It's worth a visit to view this impressive clean energy marvel. National Stadium, Beijing, China. Affectionately known as the Bird's Nest, this stadium was built for the 2008 Olympic and Paralympic Games. It seats 80,000 people and is one of the most energy efficient and environmentally friendly stadiums in the world. The stadium uses rainwater for sewage and underground geothermal system for indoor heating. The inside stadium bowl for seating is made of concrete, but the outer nest is two independent steel frames that are set 50 feet or 15 meters apart, giving it a 3D effect. What makes it such a feat is its lightness. Despite being made from 26 miles of steel frame that weighs 42,000 tons and is the world's largest steel structure. Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge, China. The Danyang Kunshan is the world's longest bridge, although the spans are broken up by some land. It forms part of the high-speed rail line between Shanghai and Nanjing and has been in operation since 2011. It took nearly 10,000 workers four years to complete the 102 miles or 162 kilometers of bridge and track. The bridge is made of 450,000 tons of steel and cost $8.5 billion to construct. Capital Gate, Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. Generally, a tilt in a building is considered an engineering fail. Just think of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. However, the Capital Gate construction is considered an engineering success, and here's why. Unlike the measly four degree lean in Pisa, the Capital Gate boasts an 18 degree tilting tower 35 stories high. Engineers had to calculate perfectly to pull off this modern marvel, which resulted in nearly 500 piles of foundations running 100 feet deep, made up of dense mesh and reinforced steel. From this, they erected a pre-cambered core, which is basically a steel reinforced concrete spine with a desired twist in it. And just like that, the Guinness World Records accredited it as the farthest man-made leaning building. Lake Pontchartrain Causeway, Louisiana, USA. The causeway over Lake Pontchartrain was knocked to second place as the longest bridge by the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge, but is still the longest bridge over water in one stretch. It reaches 24 miles, 38 kilometers over Lake Pontchartrain in Louisiana. In the middle, for eight miles, you can't see land at all. It is a fixed link bridge composed of two parallel bridges carrying four lanes of motor traffic. It was completed in 1969 at a cost of 30 million dollars, and crossing it by foot would literally be a marathon. The Bailong Elevator, China. Sometimes the fastest way is straight up, and that's what the engineers must have been thinking when they dreamt up the Bailong Elevator up the massive cliff in a national forest park in China. Three double-story glass elevators rise 1,070 feet or 326 meters high up the steep rock face, carrying 50 people at a time. It takes two minutes from bottom to top, and the attraction sees 18,000 people through the elevator doors a day. The 100 Dragons Elevator, as it is locally known, opened in 2002 and holds the record for the highest and heaviest outdoor elevator. Mio Viaduct Bridge, France. 
This traffic bridge from Paris to Barcelona crosses the River Tarn, which spreads out across a wide valley between two plateaus. The delicate and lightweight bridge is designed with great respect for this vast landscape and was an attempt by an architect and engineering team to have as little disruption as possible. It is this lightweight nature that makes it an engineering marvel. The bridge is one and a half miles or two and a half kilometers in length, and the sections between pillars are 1,140 feet or 350 meters. Meters. It's pretty impressive for a bridge. Lairdal Tunnel, Norway. This tunnel connecting Lairdal and Orland in Norway involved boring 15 miles or 24 kilometers through a mountain, earning it the title of the world's longest completed road tunnel. It takes 20 minutes to drive through this solid, nice rock mountain, and engineers had to employ a psychologist to help them design the tunnel to avoid highway hypnosis to ensure driver safety. The solutions included blue lights and gentle curves to keep drivers stimulated and engaged. Plus, the final tunnel is divided into four sections to help reduce monotony. Palm Islands, Dubai. What do you do if you're losing shoreline? Well, in Dubai, you just build an island, and not just any island, make it an island shaped like a palm tree. I guess the one thing this desert region isn't short on is sand, so that's a good starting point. In 2001, the first of three palm islands began by filling the seabed with sand using sand dredging ships. This is known as rainbowing, which is essentially spraying sand on top of a rising surface. The island adds 320 miles, or 514 kilometers of beachfront property to Dubai. Currently, Palm Island holds the title of the world's largest artificial island. Large Hadron Collider Strap in, this is about to get a bit complex for a minute. Okay, so the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, took 10 years for the brightest minds across the globe to build, and then a further five years to get the response they wanted from it. But what is it? Basically, it's a giant science experiment set up to prove the existence or non-existence of the Higgs boson particle and similar particle physics theories. The experiment is about accelerating two high energy particles in opposite directions around a 27 kilometer, 17 mile vacuum tube, making them collide and then recording the results. There are a few more bells and whistles to make this work, including guiding the particles with a superconducting electromagnet. Add that it requires cooling to negative 271.3 degrees Celsius and is driven by electrical cables that reside in a superconducting stage. Luckily, in March 2013, the experiment worked and reached a final result proving the Higgs particle's existence. We now have a greater understanding of the subatomic particles of the universe. Three Gorges Dam, China. Three Gorges Dam is one of China's largest construction projects since the Great Wall. It took 14 years to build the 2,335-meter long and 185-meter high dam project. It also is the second largest hydroelectric power station and largest concrete structure in the world. Unfortunately, it has come with downside in that its construction displaced 1.3 million people from their homes and flooded ancient historical sites as well as increasing negative ecological impact. Mars Opportunity and Curiosity Rovers Mars. Since 2004, Earthlings have been 4 by 4 on alien territory remotely via our two Martian rovers aptly named Opportunity and Curiosity. How scientists and engineers manage to design a vehicle that can withstand an environment that they couldn't predict is fascinating in itself, but more amazing is that the vehicles have outlived their life expectations. Opportunity first landed in 2004 and was designed for a lifespan of 90 Martian days, but lasted 14 years. Its twin that explored the other side of the red planet, Spirit Rover, got stuck after five years of service and lost communication in 2010. Curiosity landed in 2012 with a mission to study the planet for the possibility of future human colonization. In 2013, Curiosity found evidence of underground water on Mars. Channel Tunnel, France and England. 23 and a half miles, 37 kilometers of underwater engineering resulted in the world's largest stretch of underwater tunnel, which is the Channel or Channel Tunnel, joining Folkestone, England to Coquelle, France, below the English Channel via the railway. It took six years to build and was completed in 1994 and reaches depths of 250 feet or 76 meters. Trains can reach speeds of 100 miles per hour, 160 kilometers per hour, and 7 million tickets are sold each year. Die Glaser Manufacturer, Dresden, Germany. 
Factories don't exactly inspire, and that's why we dispel them to industrial regions of cities, out of the eyesight of the city's skyline. In 2001, Volkswagen changed all that when it opened the factory made of glass in Dresden. It challenged the concept that manufacturing and urban culture could not exist side by side. Using 290,000 square feet of glass, it brought the previously hidden away manufacturing process of making a car right into plain sight. You can watch the factory's robots and 227 line workers building actual cars on the other side of the glass panes. Chandra X-ray Observatory Space in 1999, the game changed for capturing high-energy regions of the universe when the Chandra Observatory launched the world's most powerful X-ray telescope. This made it possible to capture images of dark matter, neutron stars, black holes, and supernovas. The telescope was named in honor of Subramanian Chandrasekhar, a physicist and Nobel Prize winner who discovered the maximum mass for white dwarfs. It is 45 feet long. 13 meters and orbits 200 times higher above Earth than the Hubble, making it an engineering wunderkind. Melbourne Rectangular Stadium, Australia the geometric design of this stadium is known as a geodesic dome, with its interlocking polygons pieced together to form a sphere. It is brilliant because it is super strong and uses 50% less steel than a traditional building alternative. The park is made from a large number of recycled materials, collects rainwater, and is engineered to minimize electricity use through automation. All this while still being able to host crowds of 30,000 spectators. Rolling Bridge, London this bridge might be small in comparison to some on this list, but it is grand in its impressive engineering. The whole bridge literally rolls into a ball like an armadillo to allow boats to pass and then unrolls to form a 39-foot pedestrian bridge off the Grand Union Canal in London. Engineered with hydraulic pistons, each section can lift and pivot to curl up on itself, but truly, it's more of a work of art than just a feat of engineering. Those are a ton of really cool things so far, but I think I owe you guys some trivia. I actually have two brothers and two sisters. I come from a really big family, but tell me about yours in the comments down below. One, Ericsson Globe, Stockholm, Sweden. In two and a half years, the Ericsson Globe was one of the fastest constructed engineering marvels on our list, and one with some of the highest records. It is the largest spherical structure in the world, measuring a diameter of 361 feet, 110 meters, an inner height of 279 feet, 85 meters, and a volume of 21,188,800 cubic feet, or 600,000 cubic meters. On top of that title, the Ericsson Globe holds the title as a stand-in for the sun in the world's largest educational model of our planetary system dotted across Sweden. The astronomy department at Stockholm University decided to depict the proper scale of our planetary system, and the Ericsson globe serves as a stand-in for the sun, which establishes the model's scale to be 1 to 20 million.